Okay, we're back. So I've been looking at this for quite a while. This is the Akula device schematic of uh, this board here. And you may have seen it in some other videos, possibly. Uh, so uh, this was kind of a really big discussion for a long time, just what exactly all this was. Uh, the circuitry, uh, I guess he's got some kind of power supply with uh, kind of a push-pull type circuit. And um, uh, this could be borrowed out of some other uh, electronics. Apparently it looked just like kind of a modular type of uh, thing where uh, he used a kind of power supply that you'd see in a computer. Um, I believe it's a rectifier of sorts and hand wound transformer, not too hard to do. And uh, just what the turns and everything was, was the big question. So he's uh, shown this to different people uh, running about one and a half kilowatts uh, with a pulse of a nine volt battery. <laughs> so who knows, but. Uh, this is what he's got for us. Pretty nice of him. So, basically, just got it sort of set up for uh, tuning and just some um, small experimenting. And so, here we go. Got my sort of rendition of the of the setup here. And so we're running right now just a sine wave input into the primary about 416 kilohertz and uh, that's kind of the tuning I got with uh, this driver set up and that coil as the resonator uh, sorry the capacitance on top and then this uh, multi-layered coil is the output coil and that uh, coil that's uh, by filer wound series connected, uh, that being this top portion. Can't focus it here. So that top by filer wound series connected coil. And so you know, this is just a first time kind of guess and uh, just kind of a blind copy of uh, what I could see on the on the board. Uh, so, you know, I've got all the different angles on it, and uh, I'm running the load, and uh, different angles. So, what we've got here is basically a physical copy with uh, just slightly larger proportions. And anyway, 416 kilohertz is what that uh, happened to ring at. So I'm going to start off with uh, having the probe just underneath the uh, coil here. And so we've got some activity just ringing next to uh, the resonator here. Can't really see that. It's not focusing properly, but... Uh, we've got about 87 millivolts of uh, oscillation there at uh, 416 kilohertz. Just into the primary with the base of the uh, coil on the uh, lower end of the winding. Um, so now I'm going to detune it because. Uh, no one would ever get any result uh, just from switching it on first time. Um, but uh, yeah, the that by filer wound coil, I measured the inductance, got a capacitance set uh, to that, and then I've got uh, the uh, load I'm the load I'm using right now would be on that output uh, monstrosity, and I mean you can get some idea of the. Uh, amount of copper that's on here. Uh, you'd think that just resistive losses would uh, gobble up everything. 
but I'm going to uh, turn it up past resonance right now. And, uh, you know, resonance uh, in general, looking at this, uh, you'd think, oh, that's going to be a nightmare. Uh, but, yeah, I was able to figure out a ring of that uh, primary secondary and that uh, capacitance being the copper coil there, just a free end. And then I've got that by Filer Lounge series connected um, coil across that capacitance. And it uh, looks like it's about uh, 500, sorry, 600 picos that are uh, across there. And so now I'm going to move probe down to here. So, yeah, kind of what you'd expect. Uh, not a whole lot of much. And these are the little lights I've got connected to the uh, output. Uh, monster of uh, resistance and losses. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it back to uh, about 400 uh, kilohertz. And so let's watch this wave here. I'm going to keep going. And keep in mind uh, there was just this weird fuzzy noise down here. Uh, but now you've got the probe sitting under that coil, where you'd think less than the beginning would uh, be displayed. Keep turning it down. So isn't that something? And so now... So, granted, uh, <laughs> it's not a whole lot, but uh, to get an output on those two ends of this triple-decker, double-layered uh, uh, monster here, we've actually got an incredible rise, uh, despite running through this really weird forward and back wound inductance um, before it rings up here, but it's ringing uh, uh, a lot more clear actually than the uh, than the input uh, under that coil. It's ringing much clearer up here and at a much higher amplitude. Uh, it's just not focusing, but got about 630 milliamps, uh, sorry, millivolts here now, versus uh, what we had before at the same frequency, um, ringing about 32 millivolts. Uh, so this coil now is a lot more, showing a lot more activity uh, than near this coil here, where the source, you could say, is coming in. Uh, so it uh, looks like it's really that frequency that it's resonating at. Uh, but to get an actual output, um, considering one and a half volts going in only, uh, to get, uh, uh, it's got to be at least seven volts or so to reach across uh, these LEDs here. Uh, they're 1.8 volt breakdown. Uh, each string is forward and one's back, so it responds to AC. And uh, so it lights up for the forward, the uh, positive cycle plus the negative cycle. And uh, I was just really blown away to get any sort of light on the output here, uh, especially considering just the uh, really strange stuff that he's got in here. But I'm not going to argue with it. Uh, and it looks like at this point uh, I'm going to build the uh, push pull oscillator for the primary and uh, basically copy the rest of the circuit uh, that he's got there and just adjust it to, uh, to this larger inductance uh, 
just larger proportions in general. And so extremely impressed with this. Back to uh, it's reading eighty five. Uh, millivolts. And now it's reading five hundred ninety seven millivolts. So we're going to see some more from this guy. And I'm uh, just not going to quit until it's working, so. That's the, uh, the goal here. And so, you know, he's got it so the battery sits here usually. And uh, that would be the battery here. But, uh, yeah, he usually takes it off once it's started up, and uh, the machine carries on. Talk to you guys next time. Thanks.